When we're dealing with 1 and 0 in fractions, they're kind of some special cases that we want to take a look at. And these are listed in the table below, so let's take a look at each one. We have 4 over 1. If I'm going to compute that, I'm going to take 4 divided by 1, and the simplified result there is 4. So if we wanted to create a general rule, let's write here that a is any number, and let's use a to represent in general, if we had any number a divided by 1, the result would just be a. For 4 over 4, that's 4 divided by 4 as a computation, any number 4 divided by itself, 4 gives me 1. So I can make a general rule, a over a equals 1. If I have 0 divided by 4, my computation is written this way, and 0 parts of any number, there are 0. So I can say, as a general rule, that 0 divided by any number equals 0. And there is a little stipulation that we need to make here. It won't really come up in this class, but a cannot be 0 in this case. 0 divided by itself is not 0. 4 over 0 is 4 divided by 0. Well, I can't really divide a number into 0 parts, so we say that this number does not exist and so we have then a general rule that any number divided by 0 does not exist. So you don't have to memorize these but it really is good to know when you see something like 4 over 1 though that's just 4. You don't have to write 4 over 1 you can just write 4. 4 over 4 is 1 etc.